All right, so here we go. If you watched the previous video, we got to tour the manufacturing plant and see how the tools were made. The store is right next to this plant. So this was a bucket list trip for me. I have a Patreon exclusive video that shows the entire trip for my buddy's shop, Niagara Falls, antique stores, and then Ottawa. It has some behind the scenes, including how we got stopped at the border, how all of this came about, and how we got to speak to one of the senior designers for Veritas. So check out my Patreon down below. At this point, I think all of the Canadians are rolling their eyes. To them, Lee Valley is just a store. But here in the States, we have nothing like this. I honestly wouldn't even call it a hardware store. It's a hobby store. They have cooking, gardening, woodworking, of course, and more. Plus, the displays are interactive. You actually get to put your hands on the items. For woodworkers, you get to test the tools out. Not only that, but they have information in the displays that teach you about the items and help you decide which one's going to fit your needs. This sets them worlds apart from any other store that I've ever been in, and that's why I had to see it for myself. So, let's dive in, and of course, I have to start with woodworking. They have really cool pull-out drawers that tilt and open so you can put your hands on the tools. This one is for turning tools, and the next one is for carving tools. Now, if you turn or carve, you know how important that is. The tool needs to be the right size and fit comfortably, so you get to check that here. You also get to test out the carving tools to get the exact tool that you need. We will see my buddy Dennis testing some out later in the video. If you notice too, each one of those drawers has little information cards in there that tell you about the tools, tell you about the sizes, tell you about the brands, that kind of stuff. So that's really good for beginners and experienced woodworkers as well. Here's just one of the chisel displays. And here is, in my opinion, the holy grail of displays. The way that this is laid out is, is just amazing. Uh, Leanne and your team, phenomenal job on this because this is one of the best displays that I have ever seen. Uh, as you can see, Dennis was very impatient and just wanted to dive in. <laughs> so as you can see, these displays not only have the tools so that you can actually take them down and use them, but they also have additional information. And each one has these drawers underneath with more tools and more information. I got to pause here and talk about these shooting sanders. I actually picked one of these up at the Niagara store and I love it. So if you have the shooting plane and you're trying to do really small pieces, the shooting plane could possibly tear out the side, chip it, that kind of stuff. The shooting sanders are the way around that. You don't have to worry about it chipping or tearing or anything like that. So I highly recommend those. This next drawer has the hand plane. So it has their standard line of hand plane and their custom line. The custom line is my favorite. What I really like about this is there's always a debate of do I get a four or a four and a half, a five or a five and a half. You get to test those out here and see which one do I prefer, which one do I like, because that's really what it's going to come down to is preference. Each one of the displays is kind of listed out like this. So what this is showing you is all of the different block planes and typically what they are used for. So that can help you decide. Again, if you're seasoned or a new woodworker, this is amazing information to have at your fingertips to help you make a decision. We will look at these in more detail in a little bit. When we got to speak to the senior designer, we talked to him about how these saws were made. So if you're curious to see how they put the backs on these saws, check out that exclusive video. I was really excited about this part because I don't have any of the Veritas chisels yet, but after putting them in my hand, I decided I want them all. I like the butt chisels. I like the normal chisels. Of course, the mortise and the flushing. They're, they're all comfortable and great to use. So they're definitely on my wish list now. I love that they put this in here. So as a woodworker, I'm very visual when it comes to learning things. So if somebody tells me what fluting is, I'm not going to understand it. I have to see a picture and they have all of this out here. So while you're looking at all these joinery planes, if they mention reading or fluting or beating a groove, an inlay, whatever, you can look at this display and know what they're talking about. I have to point out my favorite plane of all time, that is the router plane. I do have a video that looks at the Veritas router plane and compares it to a couple others. In my opinion, the Veritas one won, so check out that video if you're in the market for one. 
For the plow planes and the combo planes, I also have a video because a common question I get is, well, which one do I need? So the video I have actually breaks it down on a chart to shows you what each one of these does to help you make a decision. Uh, check that video out as well. I'll put a link in the corner if I remember. I also love this part because it shows you the different steps that wood goes through when you're getting ready to use it. If you go to a Lee Valley store, please don't use the displays to test out the tools. They give you wood that you can use on a workbench to test it out. So come on, guys. <laughs> Just another example of the informational displays that they have. This is another one of my favorites because you can actually take the totes off of this display and put them on the planes to see which one you want. Now, when we spoke to the senior designer, I was going to save this for the exclusive video, but it's a common question that I get, so I want to share this with everybody. The Veritas totes are more vertical. Those are made for taller benches. The Stanley totes have more of a forward lean. Those are made for lower benches. So when you're looking at which one's going to be more comfortable, that really could depend on the height of your bench. So keep that in mind when you're shopping for a tote. It's the same thing when it comes to the knobs. The lower knobs are for lower benches. The taller knobs are for taller benches. So I just thought that was good information for everybody to have. They have this really cool book that looks at all of the Veritas tools. So basically, it's like the Bible of Veritas tools. Unfortunately, they don't sell them. But Leanne, if you ever sell them, sign me up because this is perfect for a tool nerd like me. <laughs> this is hands down the best part of the tool corner because this is where you get to test out the tools. They give you different pieces of wood so you can just go crazy with them and try them all out if you wanted to. Here you see me testing out one of the flushing chisels because I didn't really understand the concept of how comfortable it was going to be, how you use it, and they're amazing. I like them a lot. Dennis pretty much stays here the whole time too, by the way. <laughs> oh, that. There you go. <laughs> this was his first time using the box maker's plow plane, and he loves it. As much as I want to stay here and play with the tools, I have to show you the rest of the store. So, this is their Festool display. I really like seeing this because I've been debating on a couple of their sanders, but for some reason in my mind, the size of the sanders just weren't making sense to me. So I got to see them here. They also have a really cool display that helps you choose your sandpaper where you can feel all of the different grits. This display is all the different knobs and screws that they have, especially if you're going to be making some sort of jigs. So you can come up with your design, walk into the store and say, ah, that's the knob that I want. Here's a little section on turning that shows you the different chucks, different lathe rests, tells you what they do. So you can say, oh, this is the one that I need. This is the one that fits my lathe, etc." Here's a display with different glues. I like that it tells you like what glue does what. There's a couple different finishes here that you can check out with some information pamphlets. This display right here is a very important. So dust collection is a huge thing in the shop. And right here, they can show you all the different fittings, different connections, different things to help you lay out your shop and have appropriate dust collection. Now, if you notice, there's a copper wire there. So they also talk about grounding your dust collection, which is so important. So I highly recommend going to the store and checking out one of these displays if you haven't set up dust collection in your shop yet, or if you're looking at upgrading your dust collection, because they also have those automatic switches here. They also recently started selling some project wood, and if I wasn't driving across the border, I probably would have bought all or most of this display because the prices were really good. I expected them to be higher, but they weren't. Some of the power tools are on display here too. They also have a Mirka, if that's how you pronounce it, sanding station. So you actually get to test out one of their sanders, which I thought was pretty neat. Now we got to take a second and check in on Dennis because he's still at the woodworking station checking out the combination plane. Sharpening is so important when it comes to woodworking. So I really like that they have all of this displayed out for you so you can feel the different grits, read about different grits, figure out what you want. They also have a book that was written by Richard Wiley. He also makes that Wiley plane hammer. So check that out if you're just starting into sharpening or you want to advance your sharpening. They also have a dedicated display to the power sharpening. That's the Tormex, the Rikon, those water grinders. They have that all listed out here too so you can see what they're about. If you didn't know, Lee Valley also has a vast selection of handles, knobs, hinges, screws, nails, all that kind of stuff. And they are displayed very, very well here. I love this setup. They also have this really cool section too where all of this different hardware is on trays. 
So those trays fit into these drawers. So that way, if you want to see something all the way on the bottom, you don't have to bend down. You can take that tray out and put it up onto the top to check out all the different pieces. Here's a display of their hinges so you can actually see what the hinge does, which again is awesome because I know I've bought the wrong hinges for a project before. This display is showing you all of the different pliers and what they do. Different hammers, mallets, and crowbars. Here we get into timber framing so you can see what the different timber framing tools are and what they do. For you axe fanatics, this is for you. I want to see your displays like this because this is super cool. How they have these inlaid, technically, into a piece of wood and displayed. Love it. I also don't think they want somebody carrying an axe around the store. This is where we start getting into the different things that Lee Valley offers that us woodworkers might not think about. So this section is all about electrical, which... I like this a lot because when I bought my house, I did a lot of the electrical work on my own and I really didn't know what I was doing. So what they have here are all these different pull-out drawers that show you how the connections work, show you how to install them. They have different drawers with different parts and it really encourages the typical DIYer to dive into electrical a little bit more and to not be afraid of it and to teach them what their different options are, how to install it, all those types of things. And that... I just love that they're doing that, that, that they're encouraging you to expand your horizons and try something that you maybe haven't before and also teach you how to do that in a safe way. Here they have a kitchen display that shows you all of the different options you have for drawers and lazy Susans and pullouts and shelves. And if you're looking to remodel your kitchen or upgrade your kitchen, this is an awesome place to go because you can plan out exactly what you want. They also show you how to install all of these different things and they have the hardware available for you to do so. So here is more of the gardening section and the cooking section. As you can see, they have a lot more than I really thought they would have. I do have some of their kitchen items and their gardening items. They've all been really high quality and really nice items to use. For gardening too, they have this little section with beans where you can actually try out the different tools to see what they do. So you know, like, I need a trowel and it's going to do this, or I need a rake and it's going to do that. And I just thought that that was a really neat addition as well even though I couldn't hang that back up. <laughs> Here's something that I never thought about. When it comes to pliers or pruners or snips or whatever, your hand size really does matter. And depending on your age, you might not be able to squeeze them close. So they have it set up here so you can make sure the tool is going to work for you. It's time to check in on our buddy Dennis, and I knew exactly where he would be. <laughs> How you doing? Which one you testing out? Oh, that's the NX. Yeah. <laughs> nice. When you're ready to make your purchase, there's a few different ways that you can do this. Some items are available on the floor for you to take to the counter, but a lot of them are stored in the back, which I like. They have papers and clipboards around the store so you can write down the items that you want and take them to the counter. They are working on a mobile app for you to be able to scan the items you want and add them to your cart. They also have these kiosks where you can log into your account, access your wish list, or just shop for items and add them to a cart. I loved this because there were no surprises. The cart totaled my order, so I knew exactly how much I would be paying. For me and for this trip, that was extremely helpful because I didn't have a lot of Canadian currency. They call it Monopoly money. I didn't have a lot of that left after the Niagara trip, but I also didn't want to convert it back into American dollars, so I was trying to max out what I had left, and the fact that it totaled it for me helped a lot. From there, you print out this paper, and it has your order, and that's what you take to the counter. If you're ordering a custom plane, they have a different form for that, so you can pick out the frog, the tote, the knob, to make sure you're getting exactly what you want. After you have everything ready to go, you pick a number, and then you wait to be called. Please note, I recorded this early. My wait was not that long. Now serving 175. I have to give a shout out to the Lee Valley staff here. They were just phenomenal. They were very helpful and they were also very knowledgeable. So if you had a question about something, they were able to help you. I know when I go to my local big box stores, they don't always know what you're talking about. So walking into a store and talking with one of the workers to get the information you need, to me, that's invaluable. So thank you guys, keep up the great work. If you were curious as to what I purchased, here it is again. So I bought the mini bench accessory set. When I looked online, it was out of stock, but when I went into the store, it was in stock. So that's something to keep in mind too. If you have a store that's close to you and you want something that's out of stock, 
check the store, see if it's in stock, make the trip. For me, this was 100% worth it because what I wanna do is build a mini bench dedicated to these mini tools. I like putting a lot of little details in projects and these mini tools are invaluable for that. So that's exactly what I purchased. Keep an eye out for that video because of course I am gonna record that build in case you wanna build something similar or if you just like watching builds. <laughs> Now back to check on my buddy Dennis who is still at the woodworking section. I don't think he saw any other part of the store. <laughs> if you cut yourself, I'm leaving yes. you here. <laughs> Just so you know. That's fine. Fair <laughs> enough. I'll figure it out. I'll, uh, I'll hitchhike with my like half a thumb or something. Right. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to leave Alley Store here in the States, start your comment with your city and state and then let us know what your favorite part of the store was. So I'll say it again. This was a bucket list trip for me and I know that that sounds weird, but I'm one of those nerds. So I'm very passionate about Lee Valley and Veritas and the innovation that they are bringing to the field. So I really wanted to see one of these stores and it was way better than I ever expected it would be. So thank you Leanne and Lee Valley for the invitation to come to Ottawa. I also have to thank my patrons patrons and my members because they had a hand in making this possible. So Joe, Ray, Alexander, and Steve, thank you so much. If you guys have any questions, any comments, feel free to let us know down below. Don't forget to check out those other videos and do that like and subscribe thing. I hope you all enjoyed and have a good day.